Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am genuinely excited to share this Vizrag RET model with you. And the reason being is that it offers you to do retrieval augmented generation or RAG when it comes to images. And the reason why I am particularly excited is that it does this vision RAG in a different way, which makes it quicker and really opens up new avenues for new tools when it comes to vision rag. If you don't know what rag is, first, please search my channel. I have done various videos on it from beginner to advanced. And in very, very short and simple words, what rag means is that whenever you want the large language models to know about your own personal or your custom data, you do rag. So what Primarily, you do in a RAG pipeline, you take your own data, you convert it into numerical representation after slicing it into smaller chunks. Then you store it in a vector store or a vector database. From there, whenever a user runs a query, you do a similarity search, retrieves the similar vectors, append them to your prompt or user's prompt, and then give the whole prompt with all the context of your data to large language model. And that is how large language model is able to give you more grounded response in your own query as per your own data. So that is the whole idea behind RAG. Normally RAG works with text-based model as we have seen a lot of time. But what if your data set is images? For example, you want you have a lot of medical images from different parts and you want to do RAG to identify the disease. How would you do that? For example, you have your own patient's data with all the images of their x-rays and all that stuff. And of course, you can't really uh, get that. That will be unique to every human. And if you want to ask your large language models questions about those patients, your own patient's data, which is just images, you can use this WizRag model for that. And if you really think about it, you could use it in a lot of places. And how about if you just combine both this and text-based RAG, there is a limitless opportunities. Maybe it's a new business idea. Anyway, so in this video, we are going to install this WizRag RAG which is a model's name locally and VizRag is a pipeline and we will also see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Also, they are running this Hacktober 2024 this month where I will be one of the judges. So you can submit your text-based entries, image-based entries from generated by large language models as per your own prompt, and you stand a chance to win $100 in free GPU compute credit. So do check them out. And the link will be in video's description. Okay, so before we move for forward, let me give you a very quick overview of this uh, WizRag. So if you look at my screen, what is happening here is that on the left hand side is the text based rag which we are all aware of which i also described uh, at the start of the video and the right hand side we have a viz rag so viz rag is a vision language model based rag pipeline in this pipeline instead of first parsing the document to obtain text the document is directly embedded using a vision language model as an image and then retrieved to enhance the generation of a VLM. If you compare it to traditional text-based RAG, WizRag maximizes the retention and utilization of the data information in the original documents that eliminates information loss introduced during the parsing process and that makes it so exciting. So enough theory. Now let's go and try to get this thing installed on our local system. So I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. First, allow me to create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it AI. Let's wait for it to get activated. And then we need to install lot of prerequisites which include torch torch vision the latest version of transformers bits and bytes so this is going to take a minute or so so let's wait for it 
and everything is installed now next up let's launch our jupyter notebook so that we could download and play with the model in the browser environment in our notebook okay so our notebook is launched let's download the model after importing some of the libraries which we have just installed and defining some of the functions so these functions are very simple this is where we are en uh, encoding the image and then decoding it back generate and then downloading the model and tokenizer the main different bit is this weighted mean pooling function and that sort of summarizes this new model so the weighted moon mean pooling function is being used to aggregate the hidden states of the model into a single vector representation for each input sequence when we say hidden state hidden state simply means the internal representation of the input sequence at each layer in the model that captures contextualized features and relationship between tokens and it is typically of a 3d tensor shape like batch size sequence length and hidden size so what this model here is doing it is checking if the input is text or image it is then preparing input for the model it is then running the model afterwards extracting the last hidden state and attention mask applying the weighted mean pooling to obtain the representation and then it normalizes the representation using l2 normalization that is all it is doing so let me run it so that it downloads the model and the model is being downloaded as you can see here and towards then it is also going to evaluate it to show us the layers and stuff and there are two shards of it i think around 10 gig or so so model is not that big that is always good idea normally the text-based embedding models are very very small uh, but it's a vision model so it's slightly larger let's see how big the other one it's not even 10 gig i would say it is around 7 gig of size and the model is downloaded and you see towards the end as i said it is showing you the evaluation of the model so if you're interested in learning more about its layers, KLU, and all those activation function, what happened with KV cache, projection, and all those mumbo jumbo, then feel free to read through it. But we are going to go and do the inference or see how this uh, rag model works or embeddings work. So similarly, just like we do with the text one, here our query or prompt is what does a dog look like? And then we are passing it. Two images one is of cat and then one is of dog and then we will give this convert it into embeddings by encoding it then code function was above which i showed you and then we are printing the score if if it would be similar the score will be higher if if it uh, to the query i mean if the score won't be similar the score will be less so let me run it and i'm also going to show you the pictures of this cat and dog so this is the image of the cat and this is the image of the dog so this the second image should be closer of course so let's go back to the notebook so it has downloaded the images images locally and the, now it is doing the rag so let's wait and there you go the score of dog dog's image is higher than the cat's image so really good stuff and as i mentioned earlier there are a lot of use cases it just opens up a new world before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use a browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. So that's it guys. I hope that you learned something. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please, please share it among your network on social media as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.